I first became aware of Marta Beckett when I was visiting Death Valley. I knew nothing about her. We came through this desolate little town where there was nothing, huh? except there was something. Huh? And we decided to stay over and see her performance. And to me, it was a revelation because looking back on it and remembering what she did and what she represents, uh, tears came to my eyes because she represented to me the spirit of the individual, the spirit of theater, the spirit of creativity. I have always felt it important that a performance is housed in a building that has the right atmosphere for it. In other words, if it's something out of the past, it should be painted or have an atmosphere of that period. So I decided in my own opera house, I would paint an audience of the past because what I do on the stage has its roots in the past. You step inside, one of the first things you see is the audience waiting for you, the painted audience. She wasn't gonna perform to four blank walls. I got no audience? I'll paint the audience, and I'll watch their faces, and some nights the eyes move. This is really who she was performing for at the very beginning, until all of the seats started being filled up. People would tell me that I was wasting my time painting on the walls of a building that I would never own or that I couldn't sell and it could be torn down anytime. I would say to them, no one can take away the hours of joy that I had painting it. Nobody can take that away from me. If it's torn down tomorrow, I have that in me, that experience. And it's the experience that's important. A mural is a very exciting thing to do because you're creating a world. Did you draw this out on a piece of paper before you? Only the back wall. Oh, you just thought it up as you went? Uh -huh. yeah. Unbelievable, right? Is there any thing that you base this on other than your own imagination? Or, or... Well, I have costume books in my library. Can you come here? And I, all the costumes in the back wall are pretty authentic. I began with the Renaissance on the back wall, a Spanish motif because the building is essentially Spanish colonial. What about the ceiling? All that I just did out of my head. The dome took three, About three months, three months and, but the oh, whole so thing took two summers. Two summers. I have a Spanish bullfighting family and royalty. I have royalty in the top balcony and all kinds of characters from that period. Turning the corner, I have what I call the ecclesiastical sections, the nuns on one side, the monks on the other. And then coming forward to the front, I have painted the ladies of the night. This was the bordello out at Ash Meadows. She had about seven to 10 girls. And once a month, she would bring the girls to my performance for culture. It was an occasion. They sat all in a group, all dressed up in their finery, and the madam would sit upright in the front. She was very beautiful. The audience, I think they knew who they were because of the way they sat together in a group and all dressed up and perfumed. I have a young gentleman on the top balcony handing a love letter attached to a rose to the lady who is governess of the children below. On the other side, revelers returning from a ball. They're obviously not paying much attention to the performance, but their reveling is silent, so that's fine. I've painted it that way. I have Indians underneath each alcove performing various feats, such as juggling, balancing. 
There is one niche in which I have painted a statue holding a scroll written in Latin, which is the language of the past. And what it says is, the walls of this theater and I dedicate these murals to the past without which our times would have no beauty.